The Assassin's Creed series has introduced us to a lot of iconic characters throughout its history, each with their own unique story and contribution to the overall narrative, some of them being Altair ibn Lahad, Ezio Auditore, Edward Kenway, and Bayek of Siwa. One such character who stands out is Xiao Jun, a skilled assassin from the 16th century China, whose resilience, determination, and unwavering commitment to the Brotherhood make her an unforgettable figure in the Assassin's Creed universe. But I bet a lot of you guys haven't heard about Xiao Jun. It's probably because she's never gotten a proper AC game, except a side-scroller called AC Chronicles China. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad game, and to be honest, it's a very good game, but it's not the type of game everyone enjoys playing. Xiao Jun was first introduced to players in the animated short film Assassin's Creed Embers, which serves as an epilogue to the life of Ezio Auditore, the series' iconic protagonist. Xiao Jun was a young concubine to the Chinese emperor Zhengde, but her life took a dramatic turn when the Templars attacked her home, the Forbidden City. The assault led to the death of her fellow assassins and forced Xiao Jun to flee her homeland, igniting her quest for vengeance. A former concubine of the Zhengde Emperor, she was rescued by the assassins after the Emperor's death and devoted her life to the order as a result. During the interregnum following Zhengde's death, Zhang Yong, the leader of the Eight Tigers, a Templar faction, ordered a purge of all those who opposed him, which included the assassins. Xiao Jun fled west to seek out the guidance of the legendary master assassin mentor, Ezio Auditore da Firenze. After meeting Ezio, she asked him for guidance on how to rebuild her brotherhood. Ezio at first was reluctant to help her, but his wife, Sophia, urged him to understand her situation and help her. Sophia welcomed her with open arms and told her to stay with them. Within a short time, both Xiao Jun and Ezio got along. Ezio gave his wisdom and taught her his ways of the assassin within a short amount of time. Before departing, he also gifted her something that he told her to not open until at a point of time where she loses her way. Two years later, Xiao Jun returned to China to take her revenge on those who previously destroyed the Brotherhood. Over the course of six years, together with a master assassin named Wang Yangming, she successfully eliminated all of the tigers, prevented a Mongolian invasion, and despite Wang's death, rebuilt the Chinese Brotherhood and spearheaded it as its new mentor. By 1567, she devised a plan to poison the Jiajing Emperor by using the Elixir of Life, which eventually claimed the life of the cruel monarch. Xiao Jun's journey was not solely driven by revenge. It was also about reclaiming her identity and restoring the Assassin Brotherhood in China. Her character arc highlights themes of resilience and redemption as she sought to rebuild the Brotherhood from the ashes and ensure that the Templar's grip on China was broken. Throughout her journey, Xiao Jun learned valuable lessons from her experiences and became a symbol of unwavering commitment to the Assassin Brotherhood. Now let's talk about the unique skills and abilities of this character that makes her stand out. Xiao Jun is an expert martial artist. She is well versed in the Chinese martial arts, which enables her to fight like a badass. She was extensively trained in combat by the assassins and was an adept and agile fighter. Her fighting style was heavily reminiscent of the Chinese martial art of Wushu, which involves ample flexibility and knowledge in both unarmed and sword combat. She also knows how to use the iconic assassin gadgets like throwing knives, smoke bombs, and rope darts. She has a hidden blade in her foot. Yeah, a big ass hidden blade in her foot that she uses while in combat. She does an iconic spinning kick with it to slit the throat of the enemy. It actually looks so badass in action as it was shown in the animated short film, Assassin's Creed Embers. Xiao Jun is known for her exceptional speed and agility. She is very agile that she could literally dodge incoming gunfire, thrown weaponry, and crossbow bolts. She has a light set of weaponry which enables her to move really fast while in combat. As she was also trained by Ezio, this cross-cultural training enriched her skills and brought a unique blend of Eastern and Western techniques to her arsenal. Xiao Jun became proficient in stealth, parkour, and combat, making her a formidable assassin capable of taking on any challenge.
Xiao Jun's story takes place during the time period of the Ming Dynasty. So the game will be set during the Ming Dynasty in China, and China during the Ming Dynasty is absolutely gorgeous looking. The Ming emperors took over the provincial administration system of the Yuan Dynasty and established the 13 Ming provinces where the game will take place upon. So we will have a decent map size. Xiao Jun's character can expand the Assassin's Creed universe by introducing players to the rich history and culture of China during the Ming Dynasty. Literature, painting, poetry, music, and Chinese opera of various types flourished during the Ming Dynasty. So we will be able to see and meet a lot of authors, painters, and poets. We can also go to the Chinese operas as a part of side quest or activities. The whole map will be enriched with beautiful landscapes and stunning Chinese architectures. The parkour system will also be great for such a setting. Delving more into the story and character of Xiao Jun, we have someone who is a symbol of resilience and perseverance. The story of Xiao Jun is similar to the story of Ezio, where she loses everything at a young age and has to work hard and persevere to take back everything she lost. It's also a story of revenge and redemption. She is stoic in nature as she is a person with a few words and more action. She keeps searching for wisdom and is a fast learner. She is also a person with exceptional stealth and combat skills. We will be able to see some Kung Fu action with her combat in gameplay. Xiao Jun has a unique hidden blade which is situated in her foot. It will be an interesting take on the combat with the hidden blade. Xiao Jun will be a tough challenge to Cassandra when comparing them both in terms of the best women protagonist of Assassin's Creed. So that's basically it, an Assassin's Creed game that's set during the 16th century China with a great story of a badass female assassin. The gorgeous world setting combined with an interesting story and the unique character and skill set of the protagonist might be the recipe for one of the best Assassin's Creed game of all time. Now to give you a more detailed view of Xiao Jun, here's the gameplay of the first level of Assassin's Creed Chronicles China. The box is empty, or should I say, incomplete. Where is the rest of it? We know who you are. We know who you were. You've come far for someone who was merely once a concubine. I will ask you again, assassin. What is this box? Where did it come from, and what is its purpose? Why continue to resist us? Look around you. No one is coming. We wiped out your order. There is no escape from here. Why would I want to escape? I am exactly where I want to be. Such arrogance! Ma Yongcheng will make you talk. Let him try. No wonder your kind fell so far. My kind isn't done yet. Time to get out of this cage.
回事啊怎么回事？ Good to have you back, my friend. 随时保持警戒，而你们也要信守承诺，好好保护我的安全。我会罩你，你也别忘了罩我。随时保持警戒，而你们也要信守承诺，好好保护我的安全。A little distraction could help me here. Time to test your sword skills. Prepare to defend yourself. Remember to look for signs your opponent is about to strike. Yes, that's it. This time when you block, perform a rollover. Perfect. This tactic is also good to escape from combat. Attack this enemy. Show me how you strike with your sword. <laughs> <laughs> 
Good. Standard attacks are quick, but they deal little damage. Strike the enemy harder than that. Excellent. Heavy attacks deal more damage. See? The enemy is now weakened. Finish him. Good. Keep going. Do it! Training is complete for now. I told you, I Stay here. I'll get the key and get you out of there. box you took from me. Far from your reach by now, assassin. One of your tiger brothers must have it. No matter. I will find which one and retrieve it from his still warm corpse. Do you even know what the box is? I know it belongs to the Brotherhood. How naive. Thinking you can retrieve the box. Thinking that killing me will achieve anything. Killing just one of you will not give me the vengeance I seek. You are the first of the tigers to fall, but you will not be the last.
This was once a safe place for us assassins. Sung Yong's tigers saw to the end of that. Their forces surprised and overwhelmed us, all but wiping out the Brotherhood. Gao Feng's death will send a message to the Templars. The assassins have returned. Thank <laughs> you.